Manual Lands by Charles Hoy Fort, Part 2, Chapter 22C, Smithsonian Miscellaneous Collections, Volume 37, Appendix, Page 71. According to L. Tennyson, Quartermaster's Clerk, at Fort Plymouth, Oregon, at daylight, January 8, 1867, the garrison was startled from sleep by what he supposed to be an earthquake and a sound like thunder. Then came darkness, and the sky was covered with black smoke or clouds. Then ashes of a brownish color fell, as fast as I ever saw it snow. Half an hour later there was another shock, described as frightful. No one was injured, but the Sutler's store was thrown a distance of 90 feet, and the vibrations lasted several minutes. Mr. Tennyson thought that somewhere near Fort Plymouth, a volcano had broken loose, because, in the direction of the Plymouth Marsh, a dark column of smoke was seen. I can find record of no such volcanic eruption. In a list of quakes, in Oregon, from 1846 to 1916, published in the Bulletin of the Seismological Society of America, September 1919, not one is attributed to volcanic eruptions. Mr. Warren Dupper Smith, compiler of the list, says, as to the occurrence at Fort Plymouth, if there was an eruption, where was it? He asks whether possibly it could have been Lassen Peak. But Lassen Peak is in California, and the explosion upon January 8, 1867, was so close to Fort Plymouth that almost immediately ashes fell from the sky.